Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session, we'll try to understand Azure Saving Plan. So let's get started. Like always, if you're liking these sessions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this content. Now, Microsoft Azure already has a lot of saving options that you can apply. For example, some of them you might have already dealt with. You can use spot instances as well as reservation. So before I talk about the saving plan, let's try to discuss what these options that already exist. Now, if you have resources which can be disrupted or you're using for test and dev kind of environment or maybe for batch processes, Azure Spot Instance is a good case scenario because you can make a saving of up to 80% on your compute resources on the virtual machine that would be deployed. Then you have the reservation, which you can pick between one year and three year term and you can make a saving of between 30 to 65% based on the compute resources. Now, when you apply these reservations, you need to specify what region you want to apply for and what series of virtual machine you want to apply that for. Now, you do get the benefit of uh, instance size flexibility in which you can move those machines within the same series of VM family. But still, one of the rigidity or one of the limitation of reservation is that it is only applicable to the compute resources within that specific region. And that is, I think, one of the biggest difference that you'll find between saving plan and reservation. Now, very similar to the reservation, saving plan also has a one year or three year term, but it can be applied to compute resources regardless of where they are sitting or which region they are in. As long as it satisfies the requirement, your discount will be automatically applied. Now you can change the scope if you want. By default, the scope for, this, uh, for the saving plan is shared. So say for example, in your tenant, you have multiple subscription and you pick a shared scope. The saving plan parameter, as long as it meets, it can apply to resources or compute resources across all the subscription within that tenant. Though you can change that uh, uh, scope to maybe a single subscription management group or to a specific resource group. But the flexibility, as I said, that you get from the fact that it is not tied up to any specific region, which was a case in reservation. Now the question arises, a lot of customers, they already have reservation in their subscription. So can you have combination of reservation as well as saving plan? So the answer is yes. Maybe you can start with one saving plan to start with, but as your demand increases, you can have as many saving plans you want. So what is the best case scenario, but the best kind of resources you can apply that for? First of all, saving plan can be applied to different series of virtual machine. If you're using Azure function with a premium plan, app service plan with a premium tier as well as isolated tier, Azure container instances, as well as Azure dedicated host. So if you are running resources which falls under this category, your saving plan can be applied to this and you can make a discount of uh, depending upon the resources that are running and you can pick between one year or three year term. And as I said, you get the flexibility of uh, adding as many saving plans you want. And even if you have reservation and you want to trade off that with a saving plan, Microsoft is giving the flexibility of doing that up to a certain date, which you can check in the Microsoft documentation. So let me show you actually where you can see how much saving you can make with the saving plan and where you can find the service on the Azure plan. All right, so I'm on the Azure pricing calculator and to see how much saving you can make by use, utilizing saving plan. Let me just pick a VM instance. And let's for this example, let me pick a region say in Canada Central. And uh, I'll keep the operating system as Windows. And let's say for D2 V3, which has two CPU with eight gig of RAM, you can see now there is an another uh, option available under the saving option. You have the pay-as-you-go pricing, which is 148.19, out of which the compute is 81.03. And by the way, the uh, saving applies only on the compute. So this is the pay-as-you-go pricing. I already have the reserve instances, which was the case before. But on top of that, now I also have the saving plan option. And you can see that I have uh, between one and three year to choose from. So if I pick a one year, I can make a saving of 13%. So let me just pick that. So you can see 
minus 13 percent is close to 70 i will save for one year and for three years i make a saving of 32 percent which is going to be 55.39 as compared to 80 odd dollar for pay as you go so this option is now available even within the pricing calculator and on top of that you can also if you are moving your resources say for example from on-prem to the cloud and if you have uh, on-prem Windows Server licensing with the hybrid benefit or software assurance, you can make use of the hybrid benefit and you can apply the discount. Otherwise, as you know that when you deploy resources within Azure, your compute charges will include the cost of whatever CPU or RAM that you're running for that instance, including the licensing cost. But uh, this is a new uh, option available to be applied from the discount perspective in case you want to use uh, saving plan for your compute resources. And same thing, I just take, took this example of a virtual machine, but that can be also applied maybe for container instances, app service, Azure dedicated host, but for Azure functions and Azure app service only specific plans that you can utilize. Hopefully this gives you an idea, but let me also show you quickly on the Azure portal where you can find this. So I'm logged into my Azure portal with my credentials under the global search, you can type in saving plan. And uh, right now I don't have any saving plan. Let me just go and click on purchase now. And you can give the name of your saving plan if you want. Right, and uh, just ignore this error because of the limitation of the subscription. I cannot purchase saving plan. But you need a subscription, you can pick a, a subscription against you want to utilize this to specific subscription, but you can always change the scope of this. You can be between multiple subscription, specific subscription, specific resource group, or in a management group of a selected subscription. And you can choose between one year, three year term, and you can specify the hourly commitment in USD dollar or how much per hourly you're ready to pay for those compute resources. And my recommendation is that uh, if you're not sure, I will say let your resources run for, for a month or two because you can see the recommendation very similar to the way you see for the reservations of your compute. You can also see the recommendation for your saving plan under the Azure Advisor, or you'll be also able to see those recommendations under the uh, cost management and billing. And then you can change that number accordingly but you can also have multiple saving plans in your subscription as your demand grows. But as you can see that the flow, it is not tied up to any specific region. So it doesn't matter where your resources are, as long as it falls under that scope, that discount will be automatically applied. And you can have a combination of a reservation as well as a, a saving, saving plan. Hopefully this gives you an idea about the new option of saving against your compute resources within Azure. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.